welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 darkest Stranger Things moments. You're feeling just fine right now, aren't you, Heather? I'm feeling so much better. Do your girls want a cookie? They're fresh out of the oven. For this list, we're looking at the times this sci-fi horror series scared its fans in more ways than one. Since this covers the first three seasons, a spoiler alert is in effect. Which Stranger Things moment made you hide under the bed? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Will is still connected to the Upside Down The primary storyline of the first season is the hunt to find Will, who is finally located in the Upside Down. <laughs> the Byers family is reunited and we watch them sit down for a happy dinner together. Unfortunately for Will, his horrors are just beginning. Well, we'll have to see, won't we? Hey, no more snooping. No, no, I forgot to wash my hands. I'll be right back. After Will excuses himself to the bathroom, the tone of the scene dramatically shifts from optimistic to terror-inducing. Far from a normal stomach bug, Will coughs out a slug-like creature down the drain it becomes horrifyingly clear that he is still connected to the Upside Down, as the environment around him transforms before his eyes. <sighs> Will has simply brought the Upside Down back home, and the Mind Flayer possesses him by the next season. Oh, away! Number 9. Billy and Heather's Creepy Behavior Billy is possessed by the Mind Flayer at the beginning of the third season. He captures fellow lifeguard Heather to serve the Mind Flayer, which is witnessed by Eleven when she uses her powers to spy on Billy. <laughs> However, when Eleven and Max arrive at Heather's to rescue her, we're treated to the last thing anyone would expect. Huh. I'm sorry, Janet, Tom, this is my sister, Maxine. Oh! What on earth are you doing here? Is something wrong? Billy and Heather behave a bit too perfectly, so much so that their welcoming attitudes are just creepy to watch. Heather wasn't feeling so hot today, so we thought we'd take the day off to nurse her back to health. But you're feeling just fine right now, aren't you, Heather? I'm feeling so much better. The tension in the scene is hanging by a thread, as it looks like Billy and Heather could attack the girls at any moment. And I'm sorry, I did not quite catch your name. L. L. Now, what is it you were saying, L? Billy's demeanor is in striking contrast to his usual brash style, and watching him behave so calmly indicates that things are far from okay. Number 8. Steve is surrounded by demo dogs. There's no doubt that Steve was a big jerk in the first season, but he comes around soon enough to become a loyal friend and helps Dustin search for his pet demo dog, Dart. I swear to God, man, it's just some little lizard, okay? It's not a lizard. How do you know? How do I know if it's not a lizard? Yeah, how do you know if it's not just a lizard? Because his face opened up and he ate my cat. After locating Dart at a junkyard, Steve volunteers to be the bait to lure him out. This plan is wildly flawed because it turns out that Dart isn't alone. Far from it, actually. Steve, watch out! A little busy here! Three o'clock! Three o'clock! Steve is left out on his own with nothing but a bat to protect him as demo dogs surround him from all sides. <laughs> After watching him grow into becoming a fan favorite, it's scary to consider Steve biting it in such a gruesome way. Although he and the others manage to escape, this moment confirms that no one is safe. Number 7. Hopper's Death The protagonists all band together in the third season finale to stop the villains from opening a portal to the Upside Down. Hopper gets into a tussle with hitman Grigori, putting him in the line of fire when Joyce has to close the portal. Although he eliminates Grigori, Hopper has no way back and accepts his fate. 
Having served as Eleven's father figure and a safe place for fans in general, it's heartbreaking to see Hopper helpless with no way out. We all expected the heroes to save the day as always, only for Hopper's disappearance to serve as a heavy dose of reality. And when life hurts you, because it will, remember the hurt. The hurt is good. It means you're out of that cave. Fortunately, it turns out he wasn't quite so dead after all. Number 6. The Upside Down Hurts Will Midway through the second season, Hopper gets trapped in the tunnel leading to the Upside Down. Will's connection to the dimension allows him to envision Hopper as he leads the rescue along with Joyce, Bob, and Mike. Hopper, are you okay? Are you okay? Hey, Bob. Hey, Jim. However, scientists arrive and set the place ablaze, causing extreme pain to Will. We're forced to watch a long shot of Will screaming in anguish as it's contextualized perfectly by the fire raging in the tunnel. At this moment, this burning flame is exactly what's going on inside Will's body. <laughs> Actor Noah Schnapp deserves credit for making Will's torment look so real, as the character looks like he could explode at any moment. It feels like he's burning. Check for burns. <laughs> I don't see anything. Where's the hurt the most, Will? It goes to show that Stranger Things never holds back, even if it means depicting a child in so much pain. How about now? It burns. It burns. Where? Uh, everywhere. Number five. Barb is captured by the Demogorgon. Nancy's best friend Barbara never catches a break during her time on the show. I'll just I'll get a ride or something. Nance, Barb, I'm fine. This isn't you. Shunned by Nancy at a party when she chooses to be with Steve, Barb dies because no one cares to look for her. She sits by the pool by herself, sealing her own fate as a drop of her blood attracts the Demogorgon. The monster mercilessly drags Barb away to its realm, while she cries for help in vain. The scariest part has to be Barb's last few moments. Nancy? Nancy? Hello? The Demogorgon pretty much plays with its food by tormenting Barb for what becomes a painful demise. Her fate is confirmed in frightening detail a few episodes later, when Eleven comes across Barb's corpse in the Upside Down. Is she okay? <laughs> Number 4. Joyce is attacked by the Demogorgon Stranger Things has a knack for delivering scares, even if we know it's coming. Hello. Who is this? <laughs> Not long before Barb's encounter with the Demogorgon, the monster targets Joyce. It takes place after Will's disappearance, as Joyce begins to receive phone calls from her son. It's me. Talk to me. I'm here. Just, just, just tell, tell me where you are, honey. I can hear you. Please. Her momentary relief at hearing Will's voice turns to horror when supernatural events begin to take form in her house. There's a sense of foreboding as things in the house abruptly flicker on and off right before Joyce's eyes. This apprehension comes into play moments later when the wall starts to twist and distort. The Demogorgon attempts to come for Joyce, who is smart enough to run for her life. Number 3. Steve and Robin's Interrogation While we've seen many deaths in Stranger Things, a slow torture isn't something fans were ready for. When Steve and Robin are captured in the villain's base, the two are interrogated. Who do you work for? For the millionth time I work at Scoops Ahoy! Scoops Ahoy. What the hell? Unfortunately, the bad guys don't believe the truth of them stumbling into the base, and they resort to brutalizing Steve. In rather excruciating detail, Steve is beaten until he's left a bloody mess. 
Although some comedy is injected when Steve and Robin become delirious from a botched truth serum, the scene is largely about the pair's punishment. The few laughs that were there evaporate quickly when torture equipment comes into play. What is that shiny little toy? Whoa, whoa. Hey, see, hey, whoa, wait, no, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. There was a code, there was a code, we heard a code. Fortunately, Dustin and Erica come to the rescue, preventing this from becoming a disturbing end for Steve and Robin. <laughs> I was just talking about you. Oh my god. Get ready to run. Number two, demo dogs overwhelm Bob. <gasps> it's okay. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. Remember Bob Newbie, superhero. Most fans feel Bob was just too pure for this world, and his last act is to save his friends. Too bad he goes out in absolute agony. When the protagonists are trapped in Hawkins' lab, Bob volunteers to reset the power to allow the rest to escape. How about you, Doc? You speak basic? No. Okay, I got this. In the following anxiety-ridden scene, Bob maneuvers around the demo dogs out to hunt him. The relief of his success is short-lived as the demo dogs pick up on his presence. There's another hopeful spot when it seems like everyone's escaped. But when a demo dog jumps out of nowhere for a well-executed jump scare, Bob's doom is sealed. <laughs> the show kills off the nicest character it's ever had, and it doesn't help that we see the demo dogs feeding on his body. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Demogorgon's Abduction of Will Stranger Things needed a big, hard-hitting scene to establish itself as a horror series, and this is the one to do it. Will finds himself being stalked by an unknown figure, later revealed to be the Demogorgon. Since Will acts as the audience surrogate, we feel helpless as the moment gradually increases in intensity. His attempts at hiding and calling for help prove useless, and the tension reaches its tipping point before Will's abducted. We don't see it happen, but the mystery is what makes this so scary. Although it's left to the viewer to imagine what happened to Will, it's also clear that the Demogorgon has nothing but bad intentions for him. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.